Going to play a druid with heavy focus on wild shape. Yeah, that's okay. I just had no time during the week. We started to work on my character. I went simple and created a rogue really quick. All right, but uh, seriously, if your Pace game... out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, foreign. If... Okay, narrator is done. Uh, if you're... If you're... Uh, uh, if your game master has any sense, he'll he'll let you change. You know. I, if I were the game master, I w you know, and this is a problem that comes up in my group, I would just let the guy recreate the character completely. Give him the same XP so he doesn't lag behind. Especially if it's early on. Alright, so we're gonna ignore this room down here. We're gonna go here, 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 here. And I guess then we'll have to backtrack here once. Or maybe if we get the scout here, we'll go down there if there's anything interesting. Okay. Um, confession booth. I guess we could use a key on it, but I'm not gonna. Ah, some stress. That's fine. I want to save the keys in case there's anything more interesting coming up. Uh, someone is awesome. Um, okay, that sounds kind of interesting. Okay, so we didn't get the uh, the uh, the thing here. Oh, I wanted to make this a dark Secrets run. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Silly me. That's not good. Uh, that was not good. But at least we did something instead of just moving. Um, let's see. Let's attack something. Whoa, three points of damage. That's a masterful strike if I've ever seen one. Okay, the stress is real. Ow, the damage is real. Holy shit. Should not have disabled those torches. Alright, you go back. And uh, let's do zealous accusation. Yeah. No, not enough damage. Kill this thing, and we didn't even kill it. Damn it. Uh bup, bup, bup. The okay. formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Mm, okay, I see your point, Ruby. That was a good roll on the uh, healing here. That was slightly unfortunate. Can you... I mean, you can specialize your characters in D&D quite well, right? So if you have a... Uh, if you have a scout for stealthy type stuff already... Destroyed. That was a good hit. Um... And of course, if you're very triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, narrator, really, I'm talking here, okay? Uh, so if your campaign allows this, of course, uh, you could specialize your rogue more on, you know, social stuff. Um, and I mean, for combat, I, I don't really remember what the bot does. Um, I think mostly buffs, right? Um, and I don't know uh, Pathfinder really, but I mean you can uh, you can specialize your rogue in certain ways. You know you can go for sneak damage, or you know you could do, go for more defensive stuff or whatever. Or can you can multi-class, of course. Yeah, I heavily focused on dexterity. Yeah, but there are things that that you know that work with that. 
Yeah, uh, good point. The bar does own social situations, probably. Yeah, you're, you're right. All right, but anyway, that was uh, an example. I mean, you know, um, there may be other things that you could specialize in. I haven't played D&D in ages, so... Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. So far, this has not been very rewarding, I gotta say. It's just damage and stress. And empty crates. Yay, a torch. That's useful. A handsome reward. At least a little For bit a of money. Well performed. Not sure about that, narrator. Okay. The battle is on. Uh, we're going to attack this thing. Not killing it, of course. Why would we? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not liking this dark run. As the fiend okay, falls, so we at least killed that thing. Hope blossoms. Okay, and you just go back whence you belong. Uh, unholy. There we go. Back to the pit. Yeah, but I don't really remember um, what you might call it, D&D &D all that well, honestly. I do remember there were a lot of really cool prestige classes. Um, like, and I would have to look into this again, right? But uh, basically, oh, nice, nice strike there. Uh, basically, if I wanted to play a rogue, I would look into Shadow Dancer and Assassin, that kind of thing. Uh, right. Let's clean up the corpses, I guess. Uh, that's a bit of a waste. Yeah, let's do this. And let's heal you. Um... Oh, another prestige class that I remember. Uh, if you play... Uh, well, I mean, yeah, you could try and, and do a combination of Rogue and the uh, Spellcaster, but of course you need, you know, the stats for it as well. Uh, there was also Duelist, um, which was kind of roguelike. If I remember correctly, he, get, he got... Um, was it an armor bonus or damage? But it was something based off of intelligence. Annihilated. Basically, I think it was like. Uh, I mean, Success so clearly in view. Uh, so the armor. A trick of the light. We'll take this. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just saying there's there's options, you know. And again, as I said, uh, oh, this is not good. Oh, if he doesn't have the um, the artillery thing. Executed yeah. With impunity. Yeah, there's the syphilis again. That's yummy. Um exposed to a kill. Ouch. Blow. What's with the stuns here? Are you kidding me? Alright, enough now. 
That's a lot of damage. Cleansed from our lands. Yeah, it does. Spotted fever. What does that do? And another stun. Oh, come on! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, not who I wanted to heal, but sure. The thing is... If you're gonna if you're gonna multi-class, having a rogue in there isn't that bad. Um, because they get a whole bunch, or at least that's what I remember, right? They get a whole bunch of cool stuff at level one. Another there we go. Falls. This expedition at least promises success. Yeah, not sure, narrator. I'm really not sure if you're gonna even break even on this expedition. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. We took a lot of damage, a lot of stress, and we haven't really got the loot to show for it right now. Not very impressed with this one. Oh, come on! Uh. Precision and power. Um, let's heal yourself. Uh, let's foo. Um, trying to come up with something that that could mean. Uh, good evening and welcome to the channel. Uh, zealous accusation to finish them off. There we go. That was much smoother than the first, uh, than the first of these attacks. Yeah, yeah, guys, don't stress out. We're almost home. There's one room left. Don't don't get your panties in a knot. It's fine. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I'm gonna be completely fine. That's a good point. No, there's... Hmm... No, uh, that's was actually right. I had 30% frame drops there for a while. That's not good. Uh, that is absolutely not good. Hmm... <laughs> Let me see. Normally when that happens, it's one of the ingest servers of Twitch acting up. But let me see if there's anything happening on my side. Uh, as network traffic on my side other than streaming hmm one second where is the uh, settings here I am streaming via London, which is suboptimal. Let me restart the stream real quick. Uh, I'm gonna try Frankfurt, which is the one I usually take. Um, let's see if that gets better. Just one second, I'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. Uh, there is still some frame, some drop frames, which doesn't seem normal. Huh.
Was it really? Because it does say that I'm dropping frames for some reason. And that's never good. That's not normal. But then again, last week, if you remember, um, basically what happened was Twitch died. So I don't know about this. Uh, not really sure what's happening here. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, let's do... It's not that. Um, I never have problems at all. Um, but for some reason now it does that. Oh, well. So I was just... But I'm basically saying it's not my OBS settings. Um, alright, let's uh, heal our guys here, and uh, kill you, that's good. It's a bit concerning. Hmm. Uh, zealous accusation here, for double the pleasure, and then we're gonna kill off this guy hopefully. Or maybe not yet. Give me more stress. And that should do it. There we go. Seize this momentum. Good reward for that fight. Alright. And done with this. Let's return to the hamlet. Not an awesome run. Great ruins belong to us, and we will find whatever secrets they hold. See how much we end up getting here. About 10k, and very few, uh, very few heirlooms. One explorers off guard is bad. Winded replaces love interest. Really. Uh, that's good. Oh, that's alright. Beast Slayer is pretty good. Okay, so this was not bad. The off guard is a bit annoying, but it's gonna be okay. Okay. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's have a quick look here. Justice, Bounty Hunters, Justice, Moment, and Arm. Nope. Uh, do we get a level one? Nope, not even. Okay. Let's see if we can upgrade this guy. Mm. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Yeah. Okay, so... Hmm. Hmm. It is annoying. It is definitely dropping frames, and it is still doing so. Uh, this is really highly annoying. Um, but oh well. It's just as well. Um, I think we're going to call it night here anyway, because um, it is past midnight. Um, yeah. Have to keep an eye on that next time. Mm, I do think it's Twitch, but I cannot be sure, of course. Um, so yeah, sorry for that, if that affected you. Um, if not, then that's fine. Um, thank you guys for joining, as always, uh, hanging out, keeping me company, and also for the advice on the various things that I should touch and not touch. Or that came out wrong, but you know what I mean. And yeah, um, Tuesday uh, Elite Dangerous releases, or the 2.2 the, the beta, I should say. Uh, so we will probably take a look at that. Um, and then on Thursday, we're going to continue with uh, Darkest Dungeon, um, as always. 
Yeah, I think that's the plan for next week. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And, uh, yeah, have a good night. See you next time. Huh? Bye bye. Yeah, touched anything you shouldn't touch. Well, I did avoid the shambler, right? So that didn't happen again. <laughs> but yeah, never never touched a never touched the wrong thing. You know, like the evil things are bad. Anyway, good night guys. <laughs>